Hello, welcome to Brew Review TV, where we are not too serious about seriously good beer. I'm Hamp Tanner. I'm Ed Hall. That's the new guy. Do we have technical problems? No, we're good. We're good. Okay. All right, today in the beer garden Fair enough. from Port Brewing Company is the <coughs> Wipeout <smart>. IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Wipeout IPA and the new guy who is- We'll misinform you. We'll misinform you about this here particular beer. <laughs> I won't do it. Well, you just gotta read. Where are they out of Pizza Port? Or Maybe Port our viewers can help San Marcos, out. California. Don't even, don't, hey, don't I, even go I, there because if you're wrong, there. it's just not good for any of us. All other. right, Advocates A-494 minus reviews. Which That's is, not representative We've at been kind of stuck there for a How while, many? Huh? 494? 494. I fell asleep. Mm. What'd they give it? A-. Okay. Wow. The bros. bros and a wow, no reviews yet. I'm excited. You're excited? Yeah. On the uh, first sniff. Love ABV, it. First sniff. Siete percent. Okay. That's oh, how you say percent. Right. No, I just <laughs> cooled. That's not percent. I just cooled on this beer a little. It's only seven <laughs> percent. That is a nice cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. If you've watched this program for years. You know how dirty these glasses are and it's cloudy. No. Of course everything's cloudy. I like <laughs> I like a cloudy IPA because that means it's That uh, is a snow white head a, and the lacing a is chewy mouthfeel. <laughs> lacing. <laughs> That's thick. That you know what I would thick. normally say about that head is you could float a quarter on it. But that's actually already starting to recede, so you can't float a quarter on it, but you might be able to float a doubloon. Float an air biscuit. <laughs> you do that. If you get a doubloon, they're usually very uh, thin. I think you could float a doubloon on that. Mm. And the smell is <clears throat> right up my alley. That is wheelhouse on the smell for me. Plenty of citrus on the smell with a hint of malt. I'm getting no malt on that. Hint. I didn't say it was malty. Beer? Hint. Malt. <laughs> Field. Mm. She she gave us like pequeño. Pequeño. <laughs> Come on, guy. Poco tito. <laughs> Come on, guy. I had peppers today. Mm. See, that's delivered in spades. What I like about it, when I saw the cloudiness of that beer, and then the creaminess in your mouth. That's it. That's what I like. I'm not getting malt, any malt. There's a little malt, but there's there's a ton. What did he say? <laughs> hey, keep it clean, would you? <laughs> Come on, family family show. Show. Do you have the IBUs on this beer? No. Shouldn't you no. have that information? Beer Advocate didn't deliver on that one. Uh, hello, you know how to use the internet? It's not on our <clears> side. He's on dial up still. This, this <laughs> one's pretty bitter beer. I don't know what the IBUs are, but... <clears throat> Very grapefruity, very piney too. I think it's a good beer. I like that creamy. No, it's not bad. <clears throat> it's weird when you uh, when it's going in your mouth. This is gonna sound horrible. When the beer is going down, <laughs> you get a lot of citrus flavor smell going on, but it doesn't stay there. There's a better way to Let's put that. Let's just keep going on that. <laughs> just never mind. Erase that. Right. Way to Delete that. that. <laughs> He'll edit this. Just turn the sound down. Let's put a big black bar over what I just said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, okay, I'm not what? that impressed. There's I'm a uniqueness honest. to this. I like it. It has the creaminess of some of my favorite IPAs. <laughs> it's very bitter, which I like. It is bitter. But it's not quite as citrusy as I would like it to be. Yeah. Agree. That's where I'm Agree. that's where I'm stuck on. <clears throat> that uh and it's not really malty. Either. What was the other one? The one with the, the malt, wave, though. the wave yeah. of hops. Which one was that? I can't remember the name of it. From Fort Brewing. Remember that one? No, I'm not gonna like we I got like five thousand beers in here, I'm not gonna flip Whatever, it. that one was better. Yeah? Yes. This one's good. All right, let's put some numbers to it. Okay. Then. It's good. Let's, let's stop talking theory and let's start talking It's not talking the best beer numbers. that was ever brewed, but it's good. Wrong. Oh, yeah. Right. High? Too low? 91. 91. 90. Show the crowd your score. I show you. Millions wow. of people. I don't care. Yeah. 
and they're just going to disagree with you. 91. I think that is a nice beer. And if I see it, I'm drinking it. <coughs> Which you is know what? You're not going to see it here, though. Doesn't say much. I'll tell you this. We were right in there and consistent with the, um, yeah. the avocados. Field? 90. 90. Hmm. Hmm. She's leaning under 90. Yeah. She's she agreeing with the beard. She's going with like an 89. Yeah, she, she was she was thinking 89.51. Beard. If so she, she says 90, up. it means 89 is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it for this episode of Brew Review TV. Thanks for watching, and remember... Drink hard. Drink fast. Drink often.